two episodes left of Love, Victor. I literally do not know how the heck we got to the end of the show. I'm really sad about it, but I am excited to see what the heck they did with these next two episodes. So if y'all are ready to watch episode seven with me, let's go. Oh, the Astronomy Club, Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Oh. oh, Jesus. Hey. Wait, am I getting MVP? No. Oh. Um, but this award is equally important. I mean, maybe even more important. Than MVP? <laughs> the Bravery Award. What the, is that? Is that Bravery Award? Right! You gotta be so brave in basketball, you could get out there and get hit in the face, you know? For example, in middle school, I got crushed. Um, getting an award for being gay? I'm yes. sorry, he's getting an award for- I mean, what? yes, queen, you know, you're getting it for slaying. He did not. Are you kidding me? Ah, no! Victor deserves MVP. Who are you giving that to, first of all? Andrew? You're giving that to Andrew, okay? The only person I will accept getting that award is Andrew. You coming out made us a, a better and more inclusive team. And, and right, we all right, after all of his struggles with the locker room, etc. It's always something. It is always something at this school. I what have I been brave about? You walked out of the house in that pajamas and hoodie combo. That takes <laughs> balls. <coughs> This is a chance for you to stand up in front of our entire school and say you're out and proud, so... Right? Not just the hallway on top of a chair. And if anyone deserves a gay award, it's you. I mean, picking up a hot waiter while you're at dinner with your family? Come on. I know, right? <laughs> and Connor's actually really great. Oh, wait. No, I just saw the pants. Victor Rahim kind of has a point not to be judgy. And he looks like a Camden. Camden is a city in New Jersey. Andrew, come on. Talk to me. You gotta weigh in here. Hmm? No, 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 no. <laughs> if Andrew said anything, that would be winning the Bravery Award, honestly. There will be college recruiters at other games. Oh my god, dude, dude, yes. no! Yes, I will be back in time for the awards assembly. No! Ah! I trust Andrew, though, in him saying, like, there will be recruiters at other games, but, like, he came here over going to a basketball game? Dang. Hey. You know what? Actually, don't worry about no. it. It's all good. No, no, <laughs> y'all can open up with each other. You're killing me. I know I said we can't hang out, but I didn't mean we can't have a conversation. Yeah. And your dad cannot see you here within the school hallway. It's already killing me that we're not hanging out, but now you're sending me all these mixed messages, and I'm just confused. I'm I'm sorry. Just forget it. Ow, y'all! It's episode seven. <laughs> Do this to us! I wish he had said something like, yeah, I'd love to talk to you, but your dad scares me. Yeah, I love eating in straight restaurants. What? We're the cutest people here. It's a straight restaurant. We're the cutest ones everywhere. Uh, till Raheem and Connor walk in. It's so nice to meet you, dude. I've heard so much about you. Really? Um, actually, he's heard a totally chill amount about you. <laughs> Almost nothing at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stalker much. We know you like the Dracula emoji, so good choice. So how long have you been here for? Uh, like four years. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. If y'all homophobic assholes over there want to make Raheem feel bad, I'm gonna make you feel bad real fast. They're just jealous, Raheem. They are freaking jealous because your jacket is so cool. It's so cool if you sit at the patio. Those guys are not the vibe. Hey, <laughs> right, what? Sorry, go on. It's fine, just ignore them. Well, can you all at least switch okay. seats so he doesn't have to look at them? I would move to the patio with Raheem. God, that sucks. Me is my future. Dude, you don't- Everything else comes second. That is so freaking cute, but like, dude, come on. He said that with like so much conviction, but you can't put your life second, Andrew. I talked to my ex-boyfriend today and it made me really sad. Don't do this to us. He even suggested I go to boarding school. Oh for my a God. Fresh start. I told him that was a little extreme. Rich people solutions, honestly. Are you kidding? He also made me happier than anyone else in the world. Oh my god! He was the first person that ever made me feel safe. He was the first person. And loved. Safe and loved. And your parents are the trigger. They're. Oh. This is stressing me out. I am torturing myself. Staying away from my favorite person. Oh. When he... I'm not even sure it's the right thing to do. Oh my god. He must feel so stuck because his parents are telling him one thing and his parents are also part of the problem. The boarding school option, honestly, like, it would get you out of your parents' control. He needs to just, he needs to move to Portland. He's the one that should be moving to Portland to get away from his parents. Hey, are, are you okay? He's not okay, he's suffering. What are you looking at? Fuck you, assholes. Uh, yeah, you wish, fag. Are you freaking kidding? 
Get out of here. You really think that I would go for someone like you? Just look at me and then look at yourself. Your face is so busted, your hairline's literally running away from it. And I am a Persian Clark Kent. I am tall. I'm fashion forward. I am the moment. You are sad. You're ignorant. You were yesterday. So I think you and your little backup dancer should probably get going. You might be late to your micro dick meeting. <laughs> Victor's well, stepping problem? forward like I will deck you in the face, okay? Yes, he is so good verbally, but I'm a basketball player, okay? I got the jock vibes. I can deck you. Yeah. It's not worth it, man. Let's get out of here. Bye. Asshole. Holy shit, are you guys okay? Oh my god, Raheem was so good. Aha! Uh -huh. He's so good. He shut that down. Verbally, effectively. Raheem, how are you so skilled with your words? And how can the rest of us learn how to speak like that? Because that was amazing. The second I saw those guys, I was thinking about what I was gonna say if they bothered us. Oh, okay. He was prepping it in advance. I'm constantly in situations like this. So when there are guys laughing at me, I can't just ignore them, not like you. Now that makes sense though why he would enjoy the bravery award because every day is a fight to be himself for him. Oh, that makes sense. Not gonna lie, this whole 1950s housewife roleplay is surprisingly hot. What? Y'all are killing me. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Breezy breezy. Oh my god, she is about to break down. I can't live in the now, Usi. Don't you dare break them up, wait a second. Wait, wait. I just don't understand why you have to go. Oh my god, don't break them up. I've been sad for a really long time. Fuck. Like, since I was nine. When your mom died? Oh. Oh my god. My dad gets depressed when he looks at me. Because I'm the spinning image of my mom. So he just pretty much never looks at me. They are just throwing this all out. They are throwing this all at us. I need a fresh start. I get it. I just can't keep falling more and more in love with you until you leave me. But have y'all considered long distance? You want to break up? Don't do this no. to us. No, not at all. I love y'all. But I think we have to. God, they love each other so much they have to break up. No, don't do this to me. You're thinking about Raheem, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, a little bit. Did you feel right depressed, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Poor Raheem just wants to cool off. And Victor chases him every time. It would break him. Andrew loves you. I think he would understand. Yeah. I think it would break him. Maybe. Y'all have got to live your own lives, though. And then come back together, maybe. I got you your favorite beef stroganoff. We are gonna get over this breakup in no time. Okay. Which one? Huh. What's with the... What if your floats and <laughs> millionaire? You have been putting my emotions before yours for so long that you have gotten really good oh, at pretending to be fine. You're my son, I'm your mother, and I am finally well enough that I can act <sighs> like it. I'm actually really glad that they're giving her this scene. And then you're gonna tell me how horrible you feel because I can handle it. She wants to be there for you, Felix. Felix is sitting there like, yeah, but the food I brought home is hot. So maybe we should do that first. Hey, what, what you were saying earlier about wondering if you're doing the right thing, only you can answer that question, Benji. Okay. You have to do what's right for you. That guy definitely plays D&D &D on the weekends and like thinks he is the sage old wizard offering advice. But if it helps for Benji, I hope it works. We kissed on the walk over here. Really? Cute. Not all bitey and slobbery like the last guy I kissed. I'm really glad. I'm, I'm gonna accept the award. Don't do it for me. I'm not doing it for you. Can we give it to Raheem? Okay, great. Now get lost. <laughs> you better call me later and tell me all about this magical okay. kiss. Bye bye. <laughs> I love them. There was a recruiter from Northwestern at the game I missed. Wh why did nobody tell you in advance? They did, but I wanted to be here with you. How is she supposed to say anything now? Nothing is more important to me than being there for you. I don't like keeping things from you, so I just wanted to tell you. Your turn. Oh my god, how could she possibly say it now? I just wanted to thank you. Uh, you've, you've been incredible these last few months. Y'all are killing me. I really think you guys could do long distance. I guess scary shit finds a way of making you realize what's important to you. This guy does look like a fighter. <laughs> it's the jock jacket. My love no. No! They had to have him see that? Are you kidding? You know how you and dad wanted me to think about boarding school? Yeah? Why? 
because I want to go. God, I'm choosing the fresh start. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Maybe it's what's best for him, but it's breaking my heart. How could they do that to us? How could they do that to us? No. They just like broke everybody up. They broke everybody up. Like, first of all, that's heartbreaking for Benji in terms of like everything. It's heartbreaking because we know Mia and Andrew, like neither of them are doing what's best for them necessarily. And also I feel like of all of the couples, like I feel like Mia and Andrew could definitely do long distance. Like they seem pretty well connected. They've known each other since childhood. I feel like their connection could withstand the test of distance. Lake and Lucy, how are they gonna do that? I mean, I understand exactly why Lucy would wanna get the heck out and I understand why Lake would obviously not want to keep dating because she's just gonna keep falling harder and harder and make it harder for herself to say goodbye. So I get that. Victor and Nick are like moving. <laughs> Benji, <sighs> frick. I am like, they. how are they gonna resolve this all in one episode, y'all? That's not fair. That's a lot of emotions to throw at us. I'm not emotionally, mentally, physically ready to watch this finale, but I guess I'm gonna watch it and hope it doesn't break my heart. You moved here a year ago, thus Velix is officially one year old. It's only been a year. All this drama has happened in a year. He really moved and took that whole school by storm. Dude, I'm really missing my mornings with your family. Lucky enough, they're gonna be at the ceremony later so you can get your salsa fix set. Yay. He really just wanted a family. Yeah. All right, Felix Weston does not do easy. <laughs> yeah, he does fanfic. He just um stayed up all night and talked. They are cutting all of the interesting discussions. I can finally say that Benji is in my rear. What? It's Benji. He just asked if we could talk. The school. timing. Oh, oh. oh uh, my God. Uh, wait, why did you fill out a request to transfer your school records? <laughs> Link's over here gonna be thinking everyone's leaving her because everyone's leaving her. Oh my God. I'm so stressed. I'm moving to Palo Alto. Oh Next my week. God. In a week? What? Lake couldn't even handle a whole month in between. This is not good. You finally have a family. But she understands. Promise me we'll FaceTime every, every day. morning to help decide what we wear. And every night to talk about our day. Y'all can get an apartment in Paris together as soon as you graduate high school. What about you and Andrew? Are you guys gonna do long distance? Oh yeah, she'd like advice for long distance. I don't see how it could Oh work. no. Of all of them, you guys can do long distance. And he starts making all these stupid gay jokes by calling the homeowners homo owners. Oh, oh no. no. He said, really? You let your kid be like that? You let him bring boys to the house? Is this guy still on the job site? Because I will go down there, I will take my junk and throw it right at him. <laughs> Isabel, she's like, look, man, I'm ready to fight. I went through my own issues, but I'm ready to fight now. So, because I told him to screw off. Hell yes. Yeah, and slightly less polite words. Good for you, Armando. And then I quit. Oh my god. Armando! I'm sorry. No! You stood up for what you believe Don't in. Me. I'm proud of you. Oh, wow. You guys got this. No, wow. I, I thought you were gonna be like totally freaked out. No, she's got enough piano clients. Y'all have been through so much. You will figure this out. You know, I punched my last boss and I cursed out. Oh, my latest boss. right. A change of career, you know, it's fine. You don't need to use these people as a reference. It's only been a year. You've been freelancing for that year. Hi, Benji. Like, where else would they be, though? Like, this is the coffee shop. I'm leaving Creekwood. Don't do this. Don't what? do this. Seeing you with someone new it made me accept that you've, you've moved on. Has he? Literally him that exact morning questioning. Have I actually moved on? Is it good that it's easy? Yes, Benji might be in my rear view, but he's still thinking about him. Maybe I'll see you around. <laughs> this is so sad because, like, they're both doing what's best for them. They're both moving on. I get it. But I'm still hurting. You know, I'm back for the holidays and stuff. A holiday fling? That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Right Coffee shop's gonna have Christmas trees. It's gonna be real cute. That was so, like, cordial. <laughs> I wasn't gonna cry. I wasn't gonna cry. I'm crying. I am going to win you a goldfish that is most Definitely gonna die by the end of the night. Hey, our Jim the Fish lasted a pretty long time. Then he died and we had to get Jim the Fish the second. I'm moving to Palo Alto. No discussion. We can make it work. Exactly. I will just skip some school, help you get situated. Oh no, he is so afraid to lose her. Basketball is your future. Mia, you are my future. Oh my God, he is ready to die on that hill. What is this? What are you doing right now? 
Oh my god, no. Are you breaking up with me? I cannot handle a breakup. Y'all can't do this to me. The long distance would work. Fighting for us is off the table. God. Andrew. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the water fountain flashback. Veggie, I'm so sorry your brand has become that water fountain. You look like a sexy senator. Thanks. I I'd vote for you over Liam. I'm sorry, were other high schools like this? Did I just not go to events? Don't you read Creek Secrets? Connor says gossip is bad for the soul. Everything I hear about Connor, he's becoming a fave. You are not high schoolers. Would you want to go to the Winter Carnival with me later? Can't we all just go as a friend group? If Andrew does not get MVP, it's over. Then I spoke to a friend of mine, someone way smarter and cooler <laughs> than me. I also fell in love <laughs> not the with flashback. an amazing guy. Flashback. Who's pushed me to be the very best version of myself. Oh, awkward. These people showed me what it meant to be brave. <laughs> it means that you embrace the scary. Embrace the scary. A lot of the times, the scariest things are also the most important, like <laughs> admitting who you are or who you love. This is a beautiful speech. It's beautiful. For someone who didn't want to give a speech, this is beautiful. I hope I only get braver from here. I hope I only get braver from here. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Incredible. Oh, Liam. He did end up inspiring Liam. We saw that. How about that for inspiring, huh? All right, <laughs> this next guy, uh, he may be a high scorer on the court, but not so much on standardized tests. <laughs> Thanks. I wanted to see the rest of that. I wanted to know who won MVP. I want confirmation it was Andrew. Thing is, you're not over your ex. I mean, he's not, but also nothing in that speech technically led to that. Cause like, it's what he said is true. Like he did fall in love with a great guy who helped him come to terms with everything and embrace it. That's what happened. I'm really glad I met you. Oh my God. I never thought that I could be a relationship kind of guy. I do feel like Y'all have grown, though, with each other. Then you came along, and it gives me hope. Oh my god, it gives me so thanks for that. Look at them. Good luck with Benji, Victor. Thanks. The fact that Victor right now, at this very moment, thinks he's going to boarding school, and they already said goodbye, and he still came out and admitted it because he knew it would be slightly unfair to Nick to, like, keep going in this relationship when his heart's not in it. Could you watch where you're going? Liam, I'm gonna need you to Sorry. chill. Oh no. You're, uh, Victor's uh, boyfriend. Right? No. X. Definitely not. Interesting. <laughs> they did not just set them up. Victor, what are you doing here? Oh my god, I swear to god, can this dad just like chill? Hey, Mr. Campbell, look, I haven't moved on. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Campbell. Yeah, I know you told me to just literally stop talking to your son. I'm gonna just announce this right in front of you. Just so you can watch, sir. This is not a good idea. I'm sorry, Mr. Campbell, but I think that Benji can decide that for himself. Also, this frame capture. <laughs> Benji's like, oh my god, someone defending me in front of my dad? This is why this man won the bravery award. You said you needed to move on. Like I have. I haven't. I tried to because you and, and your dad told me to stay away from you. And Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't get to look upset by that, sir, because everything he just said is true. He told me that I was the reason why you relapsed. And it scared me off. Penji is like, excuse me, Dad. It's absolutely unfair that I have to be traumatized by you. But God damn it, you're not allowed to traumatize everyone else. It's bad enough I have to go through it. These parents keep I trying to come wrong. between them. I don't think that I'm bad for you. Then why did he fall off the wagon when he was with you? Um, buddy, I don't know if you want to keep asking questions, sir, because I don't know if you want to know the answer. If you think he's right, now nah, I'm bad for you. Oh, jeez. Get in that car. I don't look back. Everything, uh, this is too much. That we belong together, then stay. How is he gonna stay though? His parents control everything. Cause I love you. God. I just- Can we talk without the dad present? Please, please. I already decided you're too late, Victor. <sighs> oh my God, don't do that. <sighs> Frick. What is happening here and why is it happening? And can it not happen? I just don't think falling back into a thing with you would be a very brave thing to do. The fact, though, that his speech is really inspiring everyone. I am in love with Lucy. Yes! God! I know this show is over, but can we get a spin-off with Lake and Lucy? But I haven't said it yet. So 
What are you gonna do? Call her up right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Victor would already be there. I'm gonna be brave. Oh, no, hey. I can't talk. I can't talk. I'm, a, I'm going to be brave. All right, his speech really just inspired the whole neighborhood. Maybe Victor should be a life coach. <laughs> so funny. I'm gonna miss the show so much. Of course, I think we're worth fighting for. Yes. 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 I got scared that you would get tired of it and break my heart. Oh my god. But I'm not scared anymore. Because I listened to Victor do a speech. I'm embracing the scary. <laughs> There's nothing to be scared of. Y'all are going to be fine. I know you guys are going to be fine. You and I are going the distance. You Maybe are. <laughs> oh my god, that was so Deal cute. That was so cute. <laughs> when I love them. I love them. Mia needs that solid foundation in her life too. Even if there's distance with the solid foundation. That explains the glamour shot. Why would she want to be looking at her face to be reminded of her own existence? I asked if you could move in here after you graduate. She said yes. <gasps> it's a hell of a lot closer than Portland. How the heck are you gonna expect her to take that? That's a whole condo that she owns. Lucy, don't say no to this. I don't know how the heck they are just gonna offer this to you and expect you to take it. Don't say no to this. A whole condo. <gasps> Is it free? Did you have to pay rent? <gasps> That's the dream. She was just bestowed housing. If this isn't far away enough for you, I, I totally understand. Honestly, Lake is just amazing at effective communication too because her coming in immediately with the first thing being like, I understand why this wouldn't be far enough away for you because of everything going on in your family life. But I'm doing my part to try to make it work. I went on a drive and every place I passed reminded me of you. Oh my what are you God. Saying? I'm saying that you had me at your batshit definition of Peter Terre. <laughs> I love you, Lake. I love you too. <gasps> Oh, the mom picture. We gotta take that down, though. We gotta redecorate just a little bit. Are you allowed to redecorate kind of someone feels else's condo? Like she's watching us? Yeah. Yeah. That woman drives me crazy, but uh, you know what? You got a free condo out of it, so. So your mom and I are gonna start our own business. What the heck? I'm sorry. I'm just too excited. <laughs> what are you gonna you do? You are looking at the co-owners of Salazar Electricians. Ta-da! <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Heck yes. I can't believe it's just gonna be me and them in a few years. Oh, no. Uh, we'll go have these on your therapy. We'll go have these on your therapy. I'm gonna miss this family so much. I got you. I got Victor. He got a whole second family. I got a cozy place where there was always food in the fridge. There were parents I could rely on. Frick. Where are we going? Hurry up! Come on, hurry up, hurry up! Oh, yes, Hi, the family photo. What are you doing? It's good in the middle, too. We put Felix in the middle. Might be the last time we're all together for a while. Oh my god, it's what? heartbreaking. Why? Oh my god, yeah, Victor, you haven't been connecting with your friends during your crisis, but um, everyone's leaving. It's a hot mess. I'm moving to Palo Alto. Dang. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Awkward. I love them though. There's something I gotta do. Okay. I thought we go with the friend group and just have, try to have a fun time. Oh my god, they're recreating the scene from the beginning. Look at him. Hi, Raheem. They're having a ball. Look at them. Raheem and Connor spinoff. Lucy and Lake spinoff. Love Lucy. Love Lake. Just you? Yeah, just me. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this guy's like, ah, yes, the summer I turned pretty. How about the winter I embraced myself? Good for you. Wait. Also, just get on there. Oh. What? One more? I was not expecting that. I, I thought you left. I did too. Hey, buddy. You in or you out? <laughs> Same, sir. Poke it on. He just has to be dramatic first. <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't know why I didn't expect it. I was like, oh yeah, he's embracing himself, but... You're not my trigger. Yes! They are. That's what we've been saying. But I still have to work on myself. Yes. Like, True. True. A lot. But look, dude, this entire season you have been making choices that have proven that you are doing that. You ever wonder what would have happened if we just gone on that Ferris wheel together when you first moved here? <laughs> that isn't our story. This is and Oh my god, that's so cute. It's perfect. That is so cute. Y'all, that operator just stopped the ride at the top and said, they gotta talk, I see it. <laughs> oh my god, I love them. They really made that full circle. Oh. <sighs> 
That's so heartwarming. I feel like it would have been totally fine too to have both of them be like, I'm going by myself and I'm embracing that. Like, this is the path I'm on. And Benji to be like, I still gotta work on myself. Like, they were on the path, but it's cute to see that they're like, but we could both be doing that together. Like, we were embracing each other too. I still feel like there was a lot in this that we didn't cover. Like, I think we cut out a lot of interesting discussions and character moments especially between like Lucy and Lake and Raheem and Connor. Maybe eventually we'll get like a, the fourth season or a spinoff or something. <sighs> Frick, I'm not ready to say goodbye to them. That was such a happy ending. That warms my heart. It warms my heart. Like it's something that I could count on to put on and cheer me up if I'm having a really bad day. And I, I really like that. Anyways, thanks for sticking around with these Love Victor videos literally since season one all the way till now. I can't believe it's been three whole seasons. I'm glad I've watched it with you guys. I hope you liked all the videos and I hope you liked this one. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want more movie and fandom related content and I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.